Happy Friday. Uh, as always, I hope you had a grand week. Today, I want to talk to you about the point of no return. Some of us feel that way, that we are at the point of no return, that we can't come back from what we've done or who we've done it to, that we cannot uh, be saved or loved because of what we've done or who we've done it to. And so we are at the point of no return where people say, you can't redeem yourself. You can't fix this. This can't be healed. And I just came to tell you today that while you may not be able to return to a situation to change it, you may not be able to return to the person or place or thing to change it, but you can return or turn towards God. You are never at the point where you cannot turn or redirect your path to God. God will always receive you when you have an inner uh, heart change that says, I want to do something different. I want something better. And so you can come to God. There were so many people in the Bible who helped us to understand that. That was King David, who was a man after God's own heart, but who had another man murdered, was able to return to God. There was Jonah who disobeyed God and didn't go to Nineveh like God told him, but he was able to return to God. There was Peter who denied Christ. He was able to to return to God. There was Paul who persecuted the church, who arrested Christians, who was able to come to God. You will never get to a point where you're not able or will be allowed to come to God. God will receive you. The prodigal son, we've heard that story. And finally, the thief on the cross alongside Christ who said, remember me when you enter into your kingdom. At the last minute, his heart changed. and He was able to return. And Christ said, you will be with me in paradise. So listen, it's never too late, or you will never get too far where you cannot return or come to God. God will receive you. Much love.